All right, guys. So this video is going to be brought to you by Ostrom. This is the new company I'm going to be working with. Great guys, great product, tastes amazing. Not as bad for you as these other brands that are out there. Lord knows what's in them. Natural flavors, low um, fat, uh, high protein, everything you want in a beef stick or beef snack stick. Either way, go get yourself some. GNC, Giant Eagle, or go to their website. I'll have it down in the description below. And you can try yourself some. I've already had uh, a ton of everything already. Like, everything that they've given me. And it's delicious. So go and check it out. Ooh, and also... Beef and ostrich jerky. Yeah. You can't get ostrich on at Walmart, you know, in a package. So, high protein. If you're a, mom, if you're a soccer mom and you're on the go... If you're an angler, weekend warrior, if you are really into fitness and want something with high protein that tastes great for you, Ostrom. Ostrom.com or go to GNC, Giant Eagle. Ostrom.com will tell you where you can find it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Ostrom. And uh, let's get to this video. You will be seeing me in this video uh, on and off throughout the day. I mean, throughout the day, throughout the video, excuse me. And... I'm gonna give you tips because this video has a ton of wind in it, so I'm gonna give you like little put like little batches of info towards you and show you my thought process while breaking down a new place that I've just got to. So stay tuned. Here's a video. Well, we're here. Dan, Sean. You guys will see them more throughout the day, but I gotta get I gotta get going. Gotta get going. Fish. Caught him off a of rage crawl. Look how fat that fish is. He's been eating. See you, bud. Little rage crawl. Just swimming it. So after catching that first fish, I kind of noticed that they wanted something moving. I threw top water for about 20 to 30 minutes and didn't get one bite, so... I kind of knew the top water bite was off, unless if I was using the wrong kind of frog, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I caught that first fish off a of rage crawl, and that fish was really fat. So that tells me, one, that they're, he's, he's eating pretty good, and two, that they want something moving. So I used the rage crawl with a bullet weight, and it was Texas rigged, and I just swam it. I was just swimming it, and that's when he hit. So that's the, when you're fishing nowadays, like keep mental notes like literally keep mental notes and remember what they're biting like what they've bit on and whatnot so keep that like logged into your memory and then it'll help you throughout the day and help and keep up with the fish and what they're doing so on this particular day this that fish right there was shallow and grass and feeding heavy because you can tell how he was feeding heavy because of how fat he was so they're post spawn fish they're feeding heavy. The end of the bluegill spawn. Everything was literally playing good into this video. So, another little pudge. There's this place is full of them. If I'm just catching three in one spot, fine. They're fattening up. I'm telling you, this is when they this is when they feed after their spawn. They rest for like two weeks and then they they feed. I just spawned. I'm resting. <laughs> Well, guys, this is the best one of the day. He's probably, what, 12 inches, 13? Want to measure? I got a tape. I'd say 12. I'd say 12, too. Nice 12. Nice large mouth. See you, bud. On, a, on my swim jig, on a Screw Louie Lures swim jig with a caffeine shed paddle tail on the back. Heck yeah. So today was windy, sunny, end of the bluegill spawn, perfect thing to throw around these lakes in my area that I've noticed is a Screwy Louie Lures Magic Cross Swim Jig. Looks exactly like a bluegill, has a little bit of pink and like a fluorescent hue in it. And boy, does that, do, do, do the fish just crush it. Windy, end of the bluegill spawn, largemouth are feeding, they're done spawning. And they're fattening up their metabolisms, 
throwing at all cylinders. So these fish were hungry. And uh, yeah, th what I did was if I got hit like at the bank um, with my swim jig, I'd throw a finesse worm. Tony Patella, that's because of you. I'll throw that finesse worm behind it and just let it sink to where it was round hit and most likely it'll hit it. So that's how I caught that fish there. It's a pretty, it's a pretty place. What's up? Bags fall open and all the stuff falls off the bag. That's how I'm right here. Holes in the bottom. Uh huh. Uh huh. He went don't. What's he got? You got a bass. Getting hit. Oh, he did catch a bass. Dan's first fish of the day. Yeah, wrong species, dude. On a finesse worm. His finesse worm. It's a. You want to tell him what you're using or no? No, a chartreuse. Chartreuse trout worm. Trout worm, and they catch bass, crappie, bluegill. Yeah, that's a nice little bass. Look how chunky. Well, he's not that chunky as the rest no, of them. No, he's kind of skinny. He was in close just like what you said. Was he? Yeah. I'd seen, I'd seen one scooting along over in here, so I bet you they're in in this point, on this point. I didn't hurt him, did I? No. 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 The, the only time that I'd say that you would hurt him is if you throw him way up in the air and hear a smack. No, that's a bass. <laughs> well, this one cast, huh? First cast on a mirror lure. Four pound test. Uh, He's nice. Too much faith in him. The the other one, huh? Dude, he crushed that. Yeah, I'm, it wasn't a couple cranks, but he was on it. Must be just the right size. Oh, he's a nice one. Hey, he is, isn't he? Thank you, bud. Large mouth. Nice large mouth. Mirror lore. Uh huh. First cast. Told you they're off this point, dude. He's out there too. Yeah. So that, they're all off. Yeah, they're in the they're in that flat. That's a pretty one. Dude, he's that's like the biggest one of the almost the biggest I'm one of the Yeah. There you go. That's at least 14. You see what's hanging out of them? Uh-huh. He's been eating worms. Yep. All right, buddy. Good job, Dan. You want me to throw it away? Yeah. Okay. See you, dude. He, he come up and smoked it. Chunky. Dude, look how fat they are. See what I mean? They're all healthy in here. Well, Dan got another one. Show him what that mirror lore looks like. Dude, that's that's so sweet. He come up right here and smoked it right on the bank. Yep. Guys, when I go to these like lakes and stuff around here, I use a screwy Louie swim jig when I see the bluegill just spawning or getting ready to, and uh, or just after the spawn because this looks like a bluegill. And it's a swim jig, so it keeps on top of the water somewhat. On a trout worm? On a trout. Well, the second trout worm caught off a chartreuse. Uh -oh. What, you're okay? No. no there you go. Nice little chunk butt. Now, this place is called Mammoth Lake, guys. And I will give it basically an assessment. Has fish in it. It's, it's got some healthy bass in it. Not one of them look really not fed um we caught like five fish off this point anywhere you guys can find a main lake point that it goes from shallow to deep it'll most likely cre keep creating that point straight out and they'll be on the sides of them on it look at that there's that turtle yeah now we're gonna make our way back and go fish how fat that fish is crushed me too 
Hopefully you guys can hear me. Screwy Louie Lures, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. Get this baby. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Now that's a tank. Screwy Louie Lures, baby. <laughs> That's a tank, and he's got lice on him. All right, let's put him back in the water. See you, dude. Right there, too. Okay. All right. So that fish you just seen me catch, it was inside of a pocket. It was out of the wind because there was a cut inside of the bank and he was sitting inside that cut. Another thing that I noticed, a ton of bluegill fry everywhere. The wind was blowing them onto the banks, into small pockets, and they were hiding in those small pockings from pockets to get out of the wind. So I threw my uh, Screwy Louie swim jigs through there and I crushed them for the rest of the time we were at this place. And uh, I don't want really want to... Um, give this place too much pressure so I'm gonna respect the lake and not tell you guys where this is at I know some of you really do not like that but it's just to create content for places for me to go back and create content not really being selfish but being so that if a potentially a lot of people see this then they'll go and pressure the place and I won't have another place to go and record so that's one main reason why I don't tell sometimes where I'm at and other people ask me like uh, Jake please don't tell people where this is at and etc cetera, etc cetera. so I follow through with my word and I, I won't do it so don't hate me but keep watching the video one it's a good one too oh they're in the back of these pockets You didn't feel, feel that good until... <sighs> Man, there is nice ones all through this place. Ain't it? That's a better one. Giant. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Nice fish. <laughs> nice one. Sad one. Got him. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's another nice one. All cookie cutters out of here, boys. Let's go. Yes. Straight. 
straight cookie cutter. Pretty fish, man. They're all pretty fish. See you, dude. I'm gonna just let this go until we're done. Little chunk, feeding up. Thanks, dude. I found the pattern, dude. I mean, instant. I was coming over here to save this bag, and I got munched. They're in these shallow flats feeding heavy for some reason. Like, we're hitting it on a perfect day. I don't know why. Crappies seem like they're biting pretty good today, huh? I might be running through maybe. It's the second, second time I've done that. Big one. Big. Come on, don't get off. That's a hog. Shit. Let's go, baby. Get a picture of that one. And I was recording that fish too, buddy. Yeah, you almost got him in the eye. Oh, you're right on the stuff. Hold that up. Yeah, that's a tank. That's a three. Ah, it's a two and a half. Three. That's a nice fish. It's a tank. Thanks, bud. Dude, he hit on the fall. Did you see that? No, I threw it all the way out there. He hit on the fall, bro. That's what the screwy Louie lures, man. I'm telling you. Look at that. Look, he's, oh, I thought he was about to jump. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, I'm using a swim jig with a paddle tail. Look at that one. That's bigger than the other one. I think that other one was bigger. This one's fatter. That other one was bigger. He was longer. Yeah. Dude, he smoked it. Yeah, it made my drag slip. No, catch and release. No, never eat a bass. Mm -mm. Crappie, bluegill, bass. Huh? They're not really that good at eating. You know what I mean? I like to throw them back in and catch them a later day. All right, boys. Well, that's about a 16, 17 inch bass right there. That is a tank. This place is full of tanks, man. There you go, pretty fish. They're all throughout this place. Well, guys, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end out the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. This GoPro is about to die. And there's a crappie right there for you. This is the crappie Slayer. And, and his paddle one over there in the corner. Again, guys, screwy Louie lures. Anywho, make sure to like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you later. This is what you need to do next time you go out onto the water. Number one, read the weather. Always watch the weather. If, you, if you're if you really into fishing as much as I am, but you're not catching that much of fish, not saying I catch a ton either, but when I can narrow it down to one single thing that they're biting, that's when you know you found the pattern and you can have one of the best days of your life. So watch the weather, what water temperature, see what the bluegill are doing. See, I had uh, pan fishermen with me today, and... They, they, they threw some knowledge towards me to help really dial in on what baby the bass are doing. So um, I also paid attention to the bluegill spawn and it was at the end uh, at Mammoth Lake in the second place we went to they were already spawned and there was only like one or two that I seen still on their beds. So I noticed that the fry were in those pockets so when there's a ton of wind 
they're gonna push that that small bait and everything even their fry even some of the some of those fish I maybe have caught were maybe guarding fry of their own but um, like the skinnier males but uh, I was I was gonna say pay attention to the bluegill uh, uh, fry and the bluegill spawn and post spawn and all that because that'll it, it, wherever you catch bluegill there's gonna be a bass somewhere around so um, even though guy a lot of guys think that panfish you just go out throw a bobber with a worm on it there's a bluegill yeah that's they're usually all around the banks but when you're fishing like certain aspects like out into like a main lake, like a really big lake, like Raystown, uh, Erie, even for inst instance up in Presque Isle, um, any big lake, Cross Creek, anything that pertains to a big largemouth fishery, all if you can find what uh, the, the bass are foraging on in that place, then you're going to find the pattern. So with the wind, the, the post spawn of, and the spawn of bluegill and um, the largemouth feeding in shallow flats gave me the clue that I need to fish a swim jig. Um, it keeps it a little bit higher in the water column. I was using 40 pound braid, straight braid, um, with that swim jig on a 7'6 medium heavy and on a 7 foot, like the finesse jig with the uh, finesse swim jig that I used on a 7 foot medium with 12 pound test line, uh, fluorocarbon, and um, 40 pound braid on a 7.6 casting rod so stay tuned for more videos i know i've been slacking the past two weeks guys believe me i've been fishing and i have footage and i have stuff for the extras but i really wanted to get this video edited and brought out to you guys as soon as possible because i had a really good day and i think that this video may help you catch some more fish so thank you to ostrom uh again so much appreciate the stuff man uh, the shirt you guys sent me and everything dave and uh, all you guys over there at ostrom you guys have a great product it tastes phenomenal and i think you guys at home would really enjoy it too so again ostrom.com there will be where places to buy click that and it'll show you all the places that it is sold at um oh and they're a local company too so yeah that that's another thing uh they're in pennsylvania well, that's what it says on the website. I don't know if they have other warehouses and stuff like that. But they're really great guys. They're fishermen too. So, um, like I said, check out Ostrom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Screwy Louie Lures' stuff will be down in the description below. PC Funds Reels will be down in the description below. Um, Ostrom, uh, Tackle Unlimited's website. Even if you wanted shirts made, you guys seen the green shirt that I had there. Uh, I'll leave that guy's email down in the description below. If you want your own custom shirts made for you and you guys, like in your groups, or if you have a baseball, softball league, whatever it is, I'll set, leave the email down below and you can give him an email and uh, give him some business. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I know this has been a long video, but I really like the long videos because I can get really in-depth, and that means I have a ton of footage, so that's also a plus. But again, 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 and I can't say it enough, Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my older videos. Yeah. Whew. All right. Let's go to bed.